Today we're taking a look at the technology in the 2018 Volkswagen Golf R, but pretty much everything we're going to talk about today also applies to other Golf models, provided you check the right boxes. So without further ado, let's start things off differently and look at the instrument cluster first. That's where you'll find what looks like a scaled down version of Audi's virtual cockpit technology, basically a fully digital instrument cluster with a pair of reconfigurable and resizable gauges that can display a wider range of information. In between them, there is a third resizable and reconfigurable area that can be used to display everything from a live map for navigating to the vehicle information that you might need while driving, contacts for hands-free calling audio sources, pretty much everything that you would do with a traditional infotainment system can be handled right here in the instrument cluster in your line of sight without taking your hands off of the wheel. I find that it's very intuitive and it's at this point my favorite way to interact with the tech in this car. Now moving to the more traditional center screen, that's where we'll find the 8-inch Volkswagen CarNet App Connect infotainment system. It's a big screen. The interface looks very similar to the old 6.5-inch unit, but underneath all the hardware and software is new. It's got a whole lot more functionality and it's much more responsive. You'll also notice that on certain screens, as my hand approaches the display, a proximity sensor detects me and makes the buttons and icons larger so they're easier to touch. And then when I pull away, everything shrinks down to a nice clean interface. We've got really good features like sharp maps with really good navigation and voice control. We've also got a wide array of digital media sources to choose from. If that's not enough for you, you can also plug in your Android smartphone to gain access to Android Auto connectivity. This is going to let you bring in the Google Maps navigation and a wide array of digital media sources for things like music, podcasts, and audiobooks right off of your phone. It also ties in Google's Assistant technology so you can use voice command to do everything from search for a destination to ask Google stupid questions, even tie in certain smart home features if you're set up for that. And of course, we've also got Apple CarPlay for you Apple fanboys and girls, and MirrorLink for the handful of you who still use that technology. Overall, this is a huge improvement over what was already one of my favorite infotainment systems. But what I'm really liking is this virtual cockpit technology trickling down from Audi into the more attainable and accessible Volkswagens where more people can get their hands on the tech. If you're considering a Golf, you're definitely gonna wanna get your hands on this and see if you like it. I really think you will. So I mentioned that Volkswagen system is one of my favorite and it's gotten even better for this generation, but I want to know what's your favorite car technology? Let us know down in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to The Roadshow for even more car technology reviews.